All right, just a quick walk around after flying this thing today, putting a couple flights on it. Made a couple modifications to the hatch to fit battery wires for my Zippy 8000 since it's pretty big in there and the, the hatch doesn't have any hollow spot underneath of it here. But anyway, I put a set of dimension engineering lights on this to add some more scale light effect plus the free wing sequencer and put my own kind of fantasy landing lights on it you'll see here in a minute. The red and green lights you see on the wingtip are stock. That comes with the airplane, and uh, then I added a top and bottom strobe, rear and wheat strobes, and I'll walk around here, and you can see the white landing light on, on the nose gear door, and then I also have two mounted on each main on the struts that are run through the free wing controller uh, that come on when the gear is down. Two 5 watt lights on the main gear, and a 3 watt light on the nose and then when I go above 2% on my throttle the other strobes come on try and walk around here I took the propellers off for safety reasons obviously but the lights don't come on white blinking strobe on the wingtip top and bottom red strobes Trying to keep this from bouncing around too much. You'll notice I also added a set of antennas to give the scale La, La Patrona. Those are off of the 1400 millimeter FMS Cessna 182 and a rear strobe, and they're in synchronized. Really makes it fun to fly it right at dusk and in the evening or in the early morning. Very, very visible. Sorry this is so shaky guys, but I hadn't been out for quite a while with work schedule and so forth flying it, but I got it out today and did two flights on it. I also moved my CG back to 70 millimeters. Rich and I were flying at 57 and I believe 63 millimeters, and you'll gear up, gear down, because there's quite a there's quite a bit of gear shift on this thing. But anyway, there you can kind of see the strobes. I'll just get in a little closer on them, and I've got them programmed with a kind of an FAA sequence. I am running an Eagle A3 L gyro in there. I did test it out today. Uh, didn't the plane's pretty stable without it? but uh, it's kind of fun to have it in there let me back off here and turn the throttles down like I said I have a Zippy 6S 8030C battery in this thing and at max this thing pulls 109 amps and that's just on static it unloads in the ground just like you guys saw in the air I mean just like you saw in Rich's video to much less than that at idle, uh, telemetry is reporting back like 15 amps. Now that's combined between both. And I am running a separate UBEC inside of it. But here are some of the quick mods that uh, we actually suggested to the factory. And I suggested the factory. And uh, Rich actually kind of suggested some of his own. And they, uh, they did quite a few of them. But these are some of the ones that we did that you probably end up having to do yourself. The uh, plastic nacelle here. Is actually glued on and we just put wood blocks in here and I made this so it can come off also the same for the dummy radials since we won't since we've been changing out the motors I have the 460 motor in mine as you'll see now these set of fins in here it's the 4058 460 that's on the uh, FMS P47 the new one the new 1500 millimeter this motor is eight millimeters longer so I had to blow this 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 engine dummy engine that I had posted pictures of earlier open up quite a bit more in order for this motor to run and I really like the way this thing performs on the 460 motors no ESC change just the motor change is all I had to do and of course some leads and extensions because the stock motors have real long like 18 inch uh, three phase motor leads on the back of them and a typical stock motor, they're usually only like six inches long, so you'll have to put motor extension leads or fabricate your own in order for those to fit. 
Uh, you've already seen the video where uh, Rich did it with the 550 motor that's on the uh, 550 kV motor that's on the the FMS Beaver, the big Beaver, 2,000 millimeter Beaver. But uh, which is really nice, and that was probably the biggest thing. And he was flying that still for about five to six minutes, and I believe he tested it on a. 5,000. I haven't done that yet. I've got a set, but I haven't put them on here yet because I've been real happy with these 460s. And I also like the stock 440s. These 460s just give it just a little extra punch and was a easy easy mod change out without having to do a whole a whole lot. The 550 will fit under the um, engine nacelle the same as the 440, the stock motor is, because it's the same length and you wouldn't have to make that bigger hole there. It's only because of those extra cooling fins that they have on the 4258 460 kV motor that I had to do that. So I went ahead and did it after giving it some questions. But there it is. And of course, I've done some weather and kind of overdid it a little bit, but I kind of like it. It, made, it really stands out quite a bit. I did paint the black anti glare shield you see on the front and the wing walk on the. Um, excuse me, the, the wing walk on the uh, right side of the wing there, just like the scale La Patrona had. The uh, model kits uh, won't be having that on there. They'll, they'll come just base silver. And if you want to add those two uh, areas, you can paint them on yourself. They're really easy. It's, they already had them in production when I told them that it was missing and suggested, and uh, they weren't able to get to it. But... Gorgeous airplane. I, as you probably can tell, I actually pulled off the uh, stock decals, and I replaced mine with a, with a set of calligraphic detail uh, decals. Like I said, these two antennas right here, here, and here are from the FMS 1400 millimeter Cessna. Same thing with the antenna here on both sides that I glued on there. Uh, studying pictures of the real airplane. Uh, it had them on there. I'm just waiting for, and I'm actually making it right now. You'll see where I've got a spot here for the little UHF blade antenna. I originally had this antenna over here. I had it on the wrong side, but there's supposed to be a blade antenna that sticks up right there and one on the bottom. And then I picked up most of the decals on it. This plane flies excellent. You guys are going to love it. I can't tell you how much I like how this plane flies. Good CG on this thing is between 53 and 70, mil 70 millimeters, uh, so stay right in there. The thing handles really nice. Uh, we also, one more thing to point out here, and I followed Rich's lead on this. This nose cone is a glue-on. It'll be off in the box. We made it to where it bolt on because all the lead weight we have is added to the nose. And I have 9.9 ounces in mind um, to balance it out. If you do any, any less, because the gear is located forward on this thing, the plane will rock back on its tail. So even though it's a good CG, because of the location of the gear, which they've got scale right in the right location, it'll rock back on its gear and you need the nose weight up front along with the battery to keep it down, set down on that forward rate nose gear. Very strong landing gear, absolutely got to be the best landing gear on an electric foamy airplane that I've seen. It's just phenomenal. You guys are going to love this. I'm actually working on a new pilot in it. Right now I've got a temporary little free wing guy that I added some foam to the bottom in there, you can see, to give a little better look. And uh, eventually, someday, FMS is going to be creating a new pilot put in there, but uh, we're not sure when that's going to happen yet. So anyway, you just have to keep watching, but I'm sure someday we'll see new, a new FMS pilot in their stock airplanes. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. I'll let it go. Battery's running dead on my iPad iPad here. So there's just a quick walk around of some of the lights. I'll turn it on real quick before my battery goes dead on my uh, camera here. Like I said, I've got it set so at 1% above throttle they come on, which is just about taxi speed. And when I go to off, the only thing that's on is the stock green lights. Have fun. Talk to you guys later and hopefully someday soon here. When I can get somebody to help me out, I'm going to have video of this thing flying up in the air. Later, see you on the groups.